So let's start off with a fairly simple problem. Let's say we have 2 times the sine of 9 theta times the cosine of 3 theta. And we want to express this as a sum or a difference. That's what the problem is. We're trying to express it as a sum or a difference. Well, here I have sine times cosine. Here I have sine times cosine. Notice there's a 2 in front here, and I have a 2 in front in my problem. So really, it's going to be the sine of the sum of these angles plus the sine of the difference of those angles. So it's the sine of the sum of those angles, 9 theta plus 3 theta. It's whatever is in here. It counts as the angle plus the sine of the difference of these angles. You have to go in the order that you start with, 9 theta minus 3 theta, like that. And I think you'd all agree that inside here, sine is going to be uh, 9 plus 3 is 12 theta, plus the sine 9 minus 3 is 6 theta. And this is the final answer, sine of 12 theta plus sine of 6 theta. So if you're trying to go from a product to the sum of two trig functions, you would use these identities to pull that off. All right, now if you have sine of 7t, where again, this is all just an angle in here, times the sine of 3t, how would you expand that into the product or a sum? Well, we look for sine times sine, because that's what we have. We have sine times sine. It's cosine of the difference minus cosine of the sum of these angles. However, there's a difference here. We have a 2 in front over here. In our problem, we don't have a 2. So a lot of students are like, well, how do I handle that? Well, you handle it just by using the rules of algebra. If this is equal to this, if I divide this side by 2 and bring it over here and make it a 1 half in front of all this stuff, then sine A times sine B is going to be 1 half of these guys. In fact, some books write it like that. They put the one half on the other side. It just depends on what book you have. I'm choosing to write it like this because I think it's easier than, than looking at a bunch of fractions. But in our case, since we don't have a two in front, we need to plug in for this part of the identity. So we'll just move the two over there and make it one half. So what we really have is one half. And inside a bracket, we need to apply our identity, which is cosine of the difference. So cosine of the difference, 7t minus 3t. And then we subtract cosine of the sum of these angles, 7t plus 3t, like this. And so it becomes 1 half cosine, 7 minus 3 is 4t. Uh, we have a 1 half going in there, so minus 1 half cosine, 7 plus 3, 10t. T. So 1 half cosine 4t minus 1 half cosine 10t, and that is the answer. The only trick to it, so to speak, is you realizing there's no 2 out here, and you don't get stuck. You realize I can still use the identity, but I need to manipulate it a little bit so that I can use it for my particular problem.